Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana has failed to break through this important resistance area, such a, a relevant resistance area here um, around the 4840 level. A break above that level, in my opinion, leads to a rally and that could go all the way up to $58 in the first instance. Now, um, that retracement we are seeing at the moment is in line with what Bitcoin is doing, what Ethereum is doing, and it is looking like a wave two retracement um, here as well on the Solana chart. That wave two retracement is still ongoing. Um, at the moment, there is no evidence it's over yet. And we take a look at that in a minute. Overall here on the Solana chart as well, we can be carefully bullish as long as certain support levels are holding, as long as certain conditions are fulfilled. And uh, those are the key support levels when as long as they are holding, we can currently go with the current wave count. That would suggest we are coiling up for a rally to the upside. Um, it is not too convincing yet and therefore I'm only giving it currently a 60% probability. But as long as those conditions are fulfilled, we can remain carefully bullish here on Solana. So at the moment we can count here a wave 1 to the upside and impulse, a wave 2 to the downside and we can assume we are in the wave 3 of the same degree. But in the wave three, of course, you have your um, sub waves. Yeah, and uh, one sub wave is here, the wave one and two already done. Also here, we expect to be in the wave three, basically the wave three of the wave three, which should be bullish. And within that wave three, you also started here the sub waves, a wave one, Oops. here a wave one to the upside and a wave two to the downside. And also here we are now in the wave three in yellow. And again, in that <laughs> we, we are in another one two setup just doing that now um, at some point here you know we, we need to break through if you have too many one two setups it gets a bit unlikely and um, therefore this scenario assumes that we now really need to break through here if we fail yes then this could still come down and we would make a lower low below I believe it was $28 uh, the low in June so this is still possible with the 40% probability so quite high primary expectation is however higher as long as certain conditions are fulfilled and that would be in the first instance to hold this low at $39.20 and even more important is this low at $34.80 as long as these are holding you know as long as we, they are holding um, we can carry on with the current wave count and from the low here at $39.20 we count a wave one to the upside and we are now in a wave two correction where can that retrace to so if we take a look at that that can retrace into the region yeah certainly between 50 percent fib level there we, we currently saw a little bit of a reaction to it um possibly down here to the 78.6 so somewhere in the region between now yeah 44 dollars all the way down to 41.22 i would primarily expect us to reverse back into a wave three and the wave three should take us somewhere into the region around $53. And the next wave three, if it then happens, that should take us here above that resistance area. Yeah. So, I mean, this is one possibility. The other possibility is that we still have this ongoing as a wave B. Yeah, that this is the wave one. The wave two in yellow was never finished and that the wave two in yellow will move over here. Now, this is what we don't know at the moment, that this was just also here an overshooting wave B and we're now coming down in a C wave, which again also would move down uh, into similar regions. But uh, for now, we stay with the um, count I showed you as long as that wave two low is holding. Best indication that we are already going up. Let me just, oops go back here best indication that we have finished the wave two in white what would need to happen well I think we would at least at least at least need to move here above that uh, at least need to move above that swing high here at 4720 when we break above that then I think we can be certain or at least it's likely that the wave two here was over as long as we stay below that we have to assume we are going down a bit lower um, and bear in mind, uh, keep an eye on that reversal area that I called out to you. All right, and that's my update about Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.